And what up, this is the Solo Traveler ORD. Thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell while you are here. And I greatly appreciate it. So I'm back with another video. I want to go over three videos that have been circulating, especially around um, on WhatsApp in reference to just travel news, travel information, and things like that. You know, so the first one I wanted to show you guys is, is basically um, going over, I guess, a, a guy that actually got robbed. He was in Cartagena. And I think that his phone got robbed and someone actually recorded while he was on the street. Um, I hate to even poke fun of it, you know, because it's always a bad situation when someone gets robbed. But the sad thing is, it's just one point in the video is kind of like, it was just someone, you know, made a face was like, what the heck? But nonetheless, it is a sad situation. You know, as we always say, you know, you got to protect yourself while you're out in, in Cartagena. And I believe this story had made, made its round. Um, I guess the newspaper had wrote about it or whatever. But this is like the video of the guy who actually got, um, who got mugged or whatever uh, for his stuff. So without any further ado, let's look at that first video and then we'll move on to the next videos afterwards. Story time, red caption. Wait, what happened? What happened, bro? What happened? <laughs> what happened, bro? <laughs> they stole my iPhone. Where are your friends? They stole my iPhone. Where are your friends? I am solo traveler, solo traveler, single, single solo traveler. Don't they start to casa? <laughs> I know my, um, I know my, I know. And you could, it seems like he might be drunk or, or I don't know if he's he's under influence, but he seems like he's there, but not totally there, which is kind of a problem. You know, especially since he said that he is a solo traveler, you know, you never want to be in that type of state of mind because it looks like he's just just not totally there. It's OK. iPhone is no importante. R relax. Baby, where are you from? Estados Unidos. Sí, pero no, no, no. Mucho blood, mucho blood. Go to your house. Go to your house. Go to your house, bro. Go to your house. Go to your house. I don't know where my house is. What what is the name of your hotel? La Condesa. La Condesa. Man, so you know I gotta give up to Lord Williamson for for posting that video on TikTok, um, and it's been making its way around. But it still is like whoa, <laughs> you know I me mean? like his face is what was kind of funny. But still, the whole situation is not funny at all. The fact that he got robbed, he got mugged, you know, for his iPhone, you know, crying about it, and, and that's a bad situation. Not knowing your environment, not knowing what to do. One of the first things I always do, especially whenever I'm I'm traveling, is know my whole area. You know, if you don't know your whole area, that's a bad situation. You know what I mean? So now he, he don't even know how to get to his hotel. So he relied on his his um, technology of his phone the whole his whole time of, of traveling. That doesn't seem like a smart um, solo traveler um, per se. So, you know, I hate to talk bad about him. I don't want to do that. But these are the mistakes that you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get into, get yourself into. You know, so always pay attention to your surroundings when you first get there. Pay attention to all the streets, you know, learn the surroundings. One of the, the first thing I do every time I, I travel to a, a new destination, if it's a place I've never been to, I'm walking around the blocks. I'm walking all around just so I can figure out what is what. So, uh, you know, when I when I need to make my way back, you know, everything looks familiar. So you never want to be in that type of situation. That's a, that's a horrible situation to put yourself into. Well, let's switch gears and go to the second video. So the second video is about this one entitled young woman. So this young woman, <laughs> you know, she, you know what? I'm just going to play the video. I'll let you guys see exactly what she's talking about because of the fact that it's wild. This is wild. Money in the coat and for the bills. That's it. If you ain't getting my hair done, if you ain't getting my nails done, if you ain't doing nothing for me, then I don't need you here. It's not 50-50. It's not 80-20. It's 100% to zero. Oh, God. So, these are these new age entitled women. You know, they want you to pay for everything. And what do they have to offer? nothing much a lot of these newer women new age women don't even know how to cook don't even know how to clean 
don't even know how to do much all they know how to do is be on on instagram or all these you know uh social applications uh, you know snapchat whatever you can think of they, they know how to turn up they know how to drink they know how to smoke but they don't know how to take care of regular women stuff you know such as you know just keeping themselves the hygiene up in order or just you know um just the house or, or they just they just don't know much and a lot of the times is that they fight against they rebel against what their parents have taught them about <laughs> keeping themselves in order so this is what it is and and they demand to have they feel entitled that she should have everything paid in full nails whatever you could think of and she shouldn't bring nothing she shouldn't have to do anything but herself you know so brothers one of the reasons why we say you know you got to get your passports to move to move away from all this you know negative all this bad energy you know and of course i made other videos of, of you know about getting your passports what to look out for because everything isn't just as simple as just getting your passport and just dip it out you know you got to do some research you got to know where you're going to you got to know how to interact with these other with people in these other countries so just because you get your passport doesn't mean much you got to do more than just getting your passport nonetheless but of course i made a lot of videos on that you know to get you guys ready to take those trips overseas to go find something different but it is what it is but now the next video i want to touch on which is about um i believe it might be a muslim woman you know she's saying that you know um husbands or men should have two wives and <laughs> think about it, it it depends on the situation the way i look at it you know but i give i give you guys my final thoughts after we finish watching the video of what she says in reference to you know men having um two women or even more women or so you need to bring more women for your husband trust me the moment you accept this your life's gonna change men need more than one woman and men crave more than one woman See, the thing is, we don't want to say this to ourselves. We prefer to say, I'm enough, but it has nothing to do with you. As a matter of fact, when you understand this and have this real talk with your husband, when you understand this, the bond you have with your husband will be unbreakable. Every man can handle more than one wife. Allah in the Quran, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, and this is in the middle of Surah An-Nisa, the beginning, one of the verses, فَأَنْكِحُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَثْنَى وَثُلَاثَ وَرُبَعَ فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا فَوَاحِدًا So Allah mentions, you can marry two, three, or four, but if you fear that you won't be able to be fair between them, then one. He leaves it in your hands. Are you going to be fair? Are you honest? Are you brave? On the day of judgment, you stand in front of Allah. You stand there, not your wives, not anyone else. So if you can be fair to them physically, that means giving them equal attention physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. If you can be fair, then you can have as many wives as you want. And this is why I say bring more women for your husband. Because it will, like, look at the sister. She said her marriage was wrecked. He got married to a second wife and now it's better. Like, that's the proof. If you want a happy marriage, bring more women for your husband. Trust me, it'll change your life. Statistically, there are more women on earth than there is men. And if every single man just married one woman, there would be millions of women that are single. Like, why would you want that for your sisters that you love? Honestly, I love my friends, and if they wanted to marry my husband, I would definitely encourage it. A lot of women are holding their husbands captive. They're not having sex with them, and instead of letting them marry other women, they just be in this relationship where they're angry, they're resentful, they're not having any type of connection with their husbands, and then they're like, no, he can't marry another one. Sister, this is good advice for you. First of all, when you bring in another woman, you're going to spice up the, the marriage. Like, first, you have your own time. You create distance, you miss him. Second of all, he's got options, so it's not the same boring stuff that you're used to. You, it'll, honestly, ask a sister that's married to a man with multiple wives. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. So far, I'm gonna say, she's making some great points. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna I'm I'm dive deeper into it. That men are naturally lured and tempted by women. <clears throat> so so there you have it so that's basically all the stuff that she had to say so 
this is what I take from it. <clears throat> I believe this, you know, I mean, I, <laughs> it's hard for me to even talk about this because the fact is, you know, we're, I'm living in a society where, you know, they believe in having one wife and that's it. <clears throat> but she made a lot of sense. You know, a lot of men do crave more than one woman, you know, and it will make sense that, you know, for him to have more than one woman. But that's if he can afford more than one woman. And here's the thing. <clears throat> I believe that it's only for, I mean, I believe that he can only do that with the right women. Because if they're westernized, if they're in this type of culture, it will not work. Now, if they're in the type of culture that she's from, it will work. Because here's the thing. He will be at peace. peace and they know their place. So compared to what's here in the States, <clears throat> if a man has more than one woman, it's going to drive him crazy. You're not going to want to do that, <laughs> you know, if they're westernized, you know, American culture. But if if he, if he the woman, if the women are from, you know, from these places where she's from, whatever, believing in religion and all that stuff. But let me know what you guys think. You know, um, do you think this is, uh, this is a good thing or this is a bad thing? You know what I mean? Leave your comments below. You think that, um, you know, men should have more than one wife or you think that men shouldn't have more than one wife? You know, go ahead and leave the comment below and, and let me know. But this is your boy, the Solo Travel, the ORD. Thanks again for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.